Live from America's heartland, this is the Daily Truth Report with your host, Noah Christopher. Welcome to the Daily Truth Report. I'm your host, Noah, and I am so excited to bring back one of our favorite guests, Bo Polney. Bo, welcome back to the show. Thanks, Noah. Thank you for having me and uh, love speaking with you. Thank you for, <laughs> for the privilege of being on Daily Truth Report. Appreciate it. it it is always a pleasure to have you, and, and I just wanted to get right into it today because we have a lot to talk about. Um, for, for anybody who's new, I'll, I'll give you a really quick uh, summary. Our, our guest today is Bo Polney. I know most of you, many of you know him, but, but he is an analyst of time. He looks at the time cycles of, of our world and time cycles of financial cycles and time cycles in the Bible and time cycles in the news. And then he tells us what those, where we're at in those cycles. And the reason I'm so excited to have Bo back on is because we had him on early, early in August last time, about three or four weeks ago. And at that time, he was telling us to look towards uh, August 24th, look towards September 2nd. And we are right in that area. A lot has already happened. And then we've got a couple big things we're still looking for. So uh, wanted to have Bo back on, break down everything that has happened and break down what's coming next. So Bo, I don't know where you want to start. Last time you were on, you, you showed us uh, your new, you put together a, a protractor and you showed us where that's going to lead us in time. And I'd like to do an update on what, what's happened since we had you on last. If, if you want to walk us through some of the big things, you told us to watch for some key dates. And sure enough, we had some big things happen. Right. Um, last time we were on, I believe it was early August. And, um, you know, the, the latest thing, you know, I, I just, I've been working on this presentation for quite a long time, and I just keep adding to it. And whenever I get anything, you know, in it, prophetically, or when I sleep, or whenever I get images. Um, it, and then I also listen to other prophets, because, you know, all, you know, it's, it's God's glory. So, you know, it's just, I'm trying to put it all together, uh, put, it, put all the pieces for everybody together. And so the latest thing um, that I got, which you know, was in early August, was the, you know, how, how, uh, how the protractor itself directly relates to time uh, and end times, or particularly the next 360 days. So if you go to page 12, you'll see that protractor right there. And so this is what we talked about last time. Um, in our interview, I, there is um, two critical dates that were coming up, and I um, said, you know, the, the 16th, 15th, 16th of, of August was expected to be an important time point because that lined up with precisely 50 days to the mark when Nixon took the United States off the gold standard. So he basically detached gold and gold, you know, it was just only backed by faith and um, the dollar ended up being backed by only faith and confidence and not gold anymore. Well, lo and behold, what happened on the 15th of August was specifically, um, and you know, in relative to the time out uh, in, in Saudi Arabia was, I'm sorry, the time relative out in Kabul, it fell, right? So on August 15th, 16th time window, precisely to that time window, it was the fall of Kabul. Uh, you have to admit, you know, that's rather crazy how it lined up and it landed on precisely that date. It wasn't like a week earlier or something. It was no, literally 50 years to the mark. So that was, uh, you know, that just kind of shows that the, the calendar and the timeline we're looking at is, is important. Um, but probably the most important time point on the on this protractor would be the 90 degree mark, uh, because 90 degrees will be create the 90 days uh, from May 26th. And if you listen to our prior videos, you'll understand why May 26th was called the center of end times. You can see it up, up in prior slides, and that's based on the heavenlies. So with August uh, 24th being a tipping point, you know, I didn't know what was supposed to happen. You know, but all I know, all I knew was that that was a a date that was supposed to be very important. And lo and behold, Russia and Saudi Arabia sign a military pact. You know, why is that important? Okay, well, let me, let, let's just think about this for a minute, Noah. So if, if Saudi Arabia 48 or 50 years ago signs a contract, a military pact with the United States, aren't they good? Aren't they right. good? Like, why do you need to sign a military pact with another superpower? So now you have, Two packs with two superpowers? Uh, I don't think so. Okay. So I would say that if they sign a military pact with Russia, then I would say the probability is beyond astronomically huge that the military pact with the United States is bye bye. Yeah, so, in other words, this, this is not good. This is 
that 50 years ago, that was the start of the petrodollar. And that's what made the dollar strong and made America strong. But now what you're telling us is, watch out, we are flashing warning signs that that all of that strength and buying oil at price in US dollars might be going away. Well, and that's that's exactly the point, right? There, every single country, you know, all the Middle East has been numerous, uh, like three, I think, past examples you can go research, but you'll see there's every one of them got invaded by the United States and the countries fell, okay? And they basically were considered terrorists or, you know, and there's always some reason why you have to go in there. But next thing you know, they devalue their currency, take away three zeros off the currency and, they, and the and a country falls, falls to shambles, right? Every time they try to move away from the US dollar. So- now they've got a problem because every time anyone's ever done that, the U.S. goes in and invades and man, everything's fixed. You know, the U.S. dollar remains the world reserve currency. But here's a huge problem, right? Never have they had to go against a superpower. So now mm. there's a contract with a superpower. You know, Russia, are you kidding me, right? So they've got a contract with Russia to protect them. Against who would be the better question, right? So, uh, you know, you, you saw what you, you see what's going on out, out in the Middle East right now. So, um, I, I'd say Saudi Arabia is shaking. They're a little nervous because what just happened in Afghanistan, right? So, they don't want anything to go down in their country. So now, and, you know, the United States didn't do their job there. They abandoned them. So, they're like, well, wait a sec. No one's coming in uh, our, our country. So, now you have a military, uh, you know, a pact signed with Russia, who's now going to protect them, which means that the contract or the pact with the United States is no longer, um, or they just were walking away from it. And so now um, they're soon enough, don't be surprised because the patterns all indicate this, right? The Goliath, as I've talked about in the prior presentations, is the US dollar, which has, you know, been the, been the supreme currency around the world for, you know, for ever since the petrodollar came into existence. So now if they start accepting, Saudi Arabia's, they start accepting payment in other forms rather than the U.S. dollar. First, that's an act of war. That is an act of war, okay, uh, against the United States. Um, but now the act of war is against Russia or Saudi yeah. Arabia, who's protected by Russia. Right. So good. So this is going to be interesting. That's all I can tell you. Um, and, you know, what are, what are the cycles indicate? Well, um, we're heading into a um, new financial system, uh, you know, kingdom economy. The kingdom economy is, you know, is economy backed, uh, you know, with, with precious metals as the essence of the money. So we're heading into something truly spectacular of gold and silver being, you know, the, the new monetary instrument. Well, why would gold and silver become a new monetary in instrument? In the new kingdom economy well how because the dollar is not king anymore mm. okay so Bo, there's a lot going on here and and a, a lot of this is not good right and so uh as, as i look at this and and we're, we're going to jump to another slide you have here in just a minute because your message is yeah it there there's a fall coming there there is some bad times coming and it's going to be this death to life cycle that we're about to experience. That's a very biblical cycle and, and very biblical concept. And so your, your message is, you always said, watch that tipping point on August 24th. And, and a tipping point means something's about to fall. Something's about to topple over. We've got actual, the season of fall starting September 22nd. And so we're, we're in this period of, of fall and falling. And, and then out of that uh, comes comes the rebirth and the, and the life. And so, you know, when I, I, I look around, I read people on, comment stuff online all the time and they say, nothing's happening. Nothing, there's nothing happening out there. Actually, a lot is happening. You can see it on this protractor. I mean, we just gave away 85 billion worth of military supplies to the enemy. We, we lost Kabul. We, we, we lost it or gave it away. You've got this Russia and Saudi Arabia military pact that was just signed. There is a lot happening, but it's but it's not necessarily good. Bo, do you want to walk us through? I'm going to go up to your other slide. Do you want to walk us through what you mean by by the great fall coming and and where does that leave us? Sure. Well, this is remember the story that we we live in a story created. You know, this is you know biblical story that goes back two and a half thousand. Well, goes goes back to creation. Uh, and it goes back to at the Garden of Eden, you know, with Adam and, and Eve when they let in 
evil onto into the garden or you know onto the world so that's how far this whole story goes back but in essence what you know there is a prophecy um, by daniel and you know so you can see that prophecy on page two right you know there's a little more page down and you know the prophecy is beyond incredible because this prophecy holds true meaning it's been to the mark not one step has been missed within this prophecy and this was prophesied daniel spoke to nebuchadnezzar interpreting nebuchadnezzar's dream of two and a half thousand years ago and then the when daniel spoke the prophecy he gave all glory to god what was the prophecy that god gave never that god gave daniel well the prophecy talked about this massive statue and how it describes all kingdoms. So it talked about head, which is Babylon, which is Nebuchadnezzar at the time. Then it talked about the, then when Babylon would fall, Persia would rise, and then Greece would rise. And then after that, Rome would rise. Like, are you, do you understand all those things happened? Every one of those, this is not like a little event. We're talking kingdoms. We're talking Persia. We're talking Greece, you know, and Alexander the Great. We're talking Rome. All of these things were prophesied by Daniel. Like, holy mackerel, are you kidding me? And then it talks about uh, the, the rise of the, of the papacy. And also the, so the papacy rises after that when it, when it binds with Rome. It just, it's, an, well, it's an amazing prophecy, but there, every part of it is now complete except 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 the last step of it and that is the stone so if you go to page one one step higher so what is missing it's daniel 2 34 which states as you looked a stone was cut out by no human hand and it struck the image on its feet of iron and clay and broke them to pieces in other words it mm. took down the entire statue but it was carved out by no human hand. So what does that mean? All the kingdoms are about to fall. You know, you Lord's Prayer. What you know? What is the Lord's Prayer? Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done. I'm going to repeat. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done. What does that mean? It means his kingdom is coming. That fall of the statue is the arrival or the starting point of thy kingdom come. And thy will be done is what freaks out evil because they can't stop it. Right. Thy will be done. It doesn't say thy will maybe will be done. No, no. Thy will be done. So God's kingdom is coming. They can't stop it. They know it's coming. And when the kingdom comes, when the statue falls, that's Goliath right now. When the dollar breaks, when the dollar plunges, everything that they have created starts to fall apart and they're going to flee. And so evil is going to flee. Now, understand that the rock, the, the fall of the kingdoms isn't the return of Christ. It's just the fall of the kingdoms because Christ still returns later on. So we're going to have the wheat and the tares on this earth, but we are going to see the rise of God's kingdom like you have never, ever seen before. The latter rain is going to start coming to life. The power we're going to, again, I've stated before in last year, I said, this is going to be the greatest Thanksgiving ever in the history of the world. Why? Because this thing, the statue, the image has fallen. With the images falling, God's kingdom, God is starting to rise. The power, the fire is, is coming alive. And so right now, you know, seeds have been planted. But what's coming is the harvest. And, and so you have, go ahead, Bill. Yeah, so we're, you know, we're at summer right now, like you just put there. So um, I like the, the rock coming down, you know, you know the, the fall of the giant, the fall of Goliath is, is the day of God's vengeance for things that have come, you know, for God, ter people turning away from God and what they've done here on this earth. So that's the day of vengeance. And that's not talked about in Isaiah 61. And, you know, like you said, you know, nothing, people are saying nothing's happening. Yes, you're right. Nothing, like... They're right and they're wrong. Like you described earlier, yes, there's many things happening right now in the Middle East, a lot of massive changes. 
Um, but what I still am waiting for and what you are still waiting for, Noah, and many of your viewers is still that moment in time that, that changes things forever. And, and that, that will be equivalent to the glory arriving, the, the day of vengeance. And, and that would be putting the world on a whole new direction. Uh, equate that to the Red Sea. When the Red Sea closed, that moment when it closed, Israel's on one side, Pharaoh's on the other. The world's in, it, it's just over, right? You can never go back. That's the key. You can't go back anymore. And so we're getting, you know, we haven't hit that point yet where everything changes so dramatically that you can never go back. And, and so when the world gets put on this new timeline, which is, I believe, going to happen here really shortly because we're stepping into a very important time point um, with relation to um, this September 6th, I think in an earlier presentation, you said September 2nd, actually September 6th, September 6th is Rosh Hashanah. Rosh Hashanah is the start of the new year. So let me, let me explain that to your viewers. So um, there's also a day called Elul 29. Elul 29, if you listen to Jonathan Kahn, will be equivalent to December 31. So it's the last day of the year. Um, last day of the year, December 31. Then what comes after December 31 is January 1. January 1, biblically, would be September 6th, Rosh Hashanah. So trying to make that you know something that people can un understand. But as we get into Rosh Hashanah itself, Rosh Hashanah now starts the new year, which is basically 50 years. It's a jubilee year. So we are supposed to. So they're, you know, they're right there. You'll see the, uh, you know, the Elul 29 date, and that we equate to December 31. And then Rosh Hashanah starts, you know, the next day. So this entire now, Bo, jubilee these... cycle starts September 6th and doesn't end until next September 29th, or sub September 25th of 2022 yeah and so that's the that entire in the year sure so Bo, these these dates so little 29 these are these are the lunar calendar the, what the what the uh, biblical calendar is based on is that right yes exactly so you'll see that on a little 29 you'll see a major events have happened on a little 29 historically going years backwards so you know it's, it's been an interesting but nothing really happened in 2015 uh and because it was a year of rest. So there's two years of rest in the Bible. One is the seventh, uh, seventh cycle, the seventh year. So that's a year of rest. And then the second one is the 50th year, which is a year of Jubilee. So we're heading into year of Jubilee. So, some, so we are starting a year of Jubilee on the 6th of September into the 7th based on, you know, the, based on sunset in Israel. Um, so it's the, the Jubilee starts. Will something huge happen? Well, the world is waiting for something intense to happen. If we go back to the protractor, um, I, I think um, so this, the little cycle, I believe is more tied in with the stock markets e events into next year, 2022 being really horrible. Um, but the, uh, the protractor itself more directly relates to the US dollar and the fall of the United States. Uh, so, you know, right on page one, we know we say that the fall and fall, um, the, the United States needs to fall because it's all tied in with, 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 with a statue. So the United States, by, by it falling, when people are, you know, are not, and how do you take down the United States? Well, you take down its dollar, right? You know, you so take Bo, down, that sounds, that you take really down the scary. dollar. Right. That, that, is, so, so tell everybody what, you know, what's, what's the good news in that news? Because that, that sounds, sounds like a big problem. It does sound like a big problem because the, the United States has turned away um, from God, you, you know, look, look what's going on in the churches, look what's going on in the schools. It's, it's, it's we've turned to communism is, is really what's happening, particularly, you know, with what's happened since last November. That's so right. We've, it we've really, literally it really, turned it, away from God. So God needs, you know, so, um, so the fall of the United States is necessary, but, you know, for, for the Christians who understand what resurrection is, right? It's death. What happens after death if you're a Christian? There's no such thing as death, right? Death to life. Life. Yeah. Right. And it really does feel like every every system right now, and you just said it from the education system to uh government to everything, it's it's just it's all it's all gone rotten. It it all needs to be we need different and look at look at all these government agencies and, and everything has just 
it's it's turned evil and it needs to be wiped out and started you need to start over correct so i think the best analogy i like i just said it's 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 you know if if this is going to be biblical which it is you know everything i talk about is you know for the glory of god because this is what it is it's it's a bib we're in biblical times so if we're in biblical times it means that we must fall we must die and then be reborn and, and i love these life. green arrows i love these green arrows on the left though i mean this is where it starts to get good we're we, when you're in the tipping point it, it might feel like like everything's uh well, the, the, not pro doing the prophecy well. Noah. the prophecy is gonna uh it says the pro you know, prophetically it's not my prophecy i think it was uh lois well was sharp on the or amanda but the prophecy was is that um we're it's gonna look like god abandoned us and it feels that way right now doesn't it well wait till we fall and then crazy how chaos uh, erupts okay it's gonna look like god abandoned us but we have to remember that statue of Daniel stands of two and a half thousand year prophecy. So that statue, that, that um, prophecy was written from the end to the beginning. Mm. So it was written backwards to the beginning. So when he gave the prophecy, that was the beginning, but it was already written from the end. So don't think that God's going to abandon the United States or abandon the world or abandon his church. Absolutely not. But but he has to wake people up. And people are so wrapped up in this world. They're so wrapped up in the world that they can't see the truth anymore, if that makes sense. Right. You know, they, right. um, they've turned away. You know, um, it, it was, you know, if you, you go back, you know, in hundreds of years, thousands of years, you know, in the time of Israel, you know, people would worship God, you know, daily. They, you know, it's just, it was just you know, so powerful, not that I lived then, but, you know, you, you, you read, the, read the Bible, you look at stories, you know, there was a lot of faith years ago. And now there's just, little, it's just completely different. So by us turning away, we've, you know, we've turned away from God. So now he needs to shake us up. And the best way to shake people up is to knock them down and right. knock the country down, make it look like there's really no hope. So if you think it looks bad or now, it's going to get worse. <laughs> Unfortunately. <Yeah. laughs> Um, but it's all for God's glory, because then he gets to those that choose to realize um, that the fall was necessary for him, for, for him to raise you up. Well, you know, then the country will be raised back up. And so that's why you look at the Jubilee. So it's a year of cleansing. It's a, it's a year of starting over, but it's a year of wiping out and starting fresh again or starting fresh. And that's where the new era, you know, comes online. So September 6th starts the new year, starts the Jubilee year. Right. And that's going to progress us all the way into um, next September. But there's a cycle in between that. And that's what I'm showing you here on page 12. That cycle in between that starts on September 6th. And the since August, this is really important to think about the pattern that we're looking at there and then the event. So if on August 24th, that was tipping point, what was tipping point? It was a new contract. Saudi Arabia and Russia stepping away from the U.S. Saudi Arabia contract. If that was the event, that means that 90 degrees, this is, event is going to be a very big um, event. It, it leads into something 90 days later. Does that make sense? So if that was tipping point, then what's tipping? Well, it's the dollar, right? If the dollar, it's Goliath, it's tipping, which means he would have fallen flat on his face by November 22nd at 90 days or 90 degrees. And by another 90 degrees, which would be all the way 270 days from May 26, or that would be February 20th, 2022. February 20th means that the dollar is 180 degrees from August 24th, which means it's totally upside down already, which means that that probably, I'm, my interpretation means that not only is a dollar now fallen, means the bond market and is blown up too. Mm. Mm. Okay, right. So I would equate this protractor, now that we're seeing what the tipping point was, was the dollar, I would equate this protractor to what the dollar is doing. But when the dollar is doing that, you know, what is the opposite to the dollar? Noah, what's opposite the dollar? There's only one instrument which is directly opposite the dollar. Hmm. God's money. Gold and silver. Gold and silver. So 
as the financial, as the dollar Goliath is falling and blowing apart and going on its falling on its face and then going upside down, expect God's money to be doing the exact opposite. And so please click to page seven and this will explain what's going on. Because what's happening is when Goliath falls, the kingdom economy comes alive. And you've been so, telling us this for a long time, Bo. All I can tell people is, is uh, this is this is what Bo keeps telling us. Get ready, right? And you know, so we were Bitcoin's front running everything. Not that big, please. Bitcoin is not God's money, but they the, people know something's up. Okay, so they've created Bitcoin, and now people are starting to move into it. So that's why it's no longer a dollar. It's now. 50,000 or just under $50,000. It's not a dollar anymore. Do you realize Bitcoin started under a dollar? I do. Yep. Okay. So why is it 50? Hmm. And they've been telling us Bitcoin is, um, it, it, I'm not promoting Bitcoin. I'm just saying they've been telling us for Bitcoin is worth, uh, it was worthless. It's a scam on and on and on. It's died how many times? You know, the, the Bitcoin graveyard <laughs> is died 50. It's died like a thousand times. But, you know, it's the only thing that it's the only monetary instrument that has died uh, 500 times, but is worth $50,000 today. <laughs> right. <laughs> like, what a joke. Are you kidding me? But it's, but it's, it's all news because it's what they're spewing out of their mouth is fake news because they want people not to be involved in it. I'm not telling you involved in Bitcoin. I'm telling you that it's the new monetary system that's coming online. It's been front running gold and silver. I'm repeating the cryptocurrency cycle has been front running gold and silver. They don't want gold and silver to go up, but what's coming is the kingdom economy. And what did I say earlier, Noah, thy kingdom come thy will be done they can't stop what's about to happen when the new when we step into september and the jubilee and then we progress into next into the end of this year into next year they are not going to be able to stop god's will because god's will will be done and when god's will be done we're in the kingdom economy and god's kingdom is rising with his money. So God's kingdom will rise with gold and silver because now gold and silver begin to front run Bitcoin. Mm -hmm. They're finally going to play a game of catch up. And that's what the cycles are, are indicating. My mm -hmm. point being is that, um, but both ultimately, or actually all three of those are ultimately going to be the monetary system in the new kingdom economy it's just that longer term you you know if you're buying bitcoin you're and you're not, i don't care what you know I'm, i can't give i don't want to give a financial advice okay it's not my deal here to get financial advice i'm saying if but i personally if i only had bitcoin and not god's money i wouldn't sleep at night okay hmm. so there's because god's money is ultimately the ultimate 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 go-to but you know, in in the shorter term, next few years, absolutely. You know, you know, I if, if Bitcoin, if there's going to be a monetary transition and Bitcoin's front running everything with the alternate cryptocurrencies, currencies, heck, I'll, you know, why why would you not want to be a part of that? I, I do. That's my point. You know, but the point is, is that on this soft slide here, it says coming, there will be a time when the current or the currency system we know will totally fail. That's not, those are not my, my words, okay? That was prophetic. That was spoken by a prophet. So the money system, you know, will totally fail. So the, the, the paper system you have in your bank, oh, you know, you got a bunch of zeros, you get monthly statements, and boy, I got lots of zeros. <laughs> yeah, lots of zeros on paper. That's about all you got. Well, you've been telling us that for a long time, Bo, and, and I think when you first started coming on our show, Bitcoin was ten thousand dollars, and now it's fifty. And again, you you say it, and and I want to reiterate, you're not here to give financial advice, but you you watch these cycles, and you just tell us what you're seeing in the cycles. And you've been telling us that you probably want to get some Bitcoin, you probably want to get some gold, and you probably want to get some silver. And so far, anybody who's been on that ride with you is is pretty happy right now because, like I said, then you started. You started a lot lower than ten thousand, but but when you started talking to us, it was probably around ten thousand, and 
And now it's sitting at 50 and just feels like it wants to go crazy. And we're all waiting. Everything kind of feels like we're just in the tipping point. Everything's just waiting to either fall over or explode upwards. And, um, and, I, and that's why I wanted to have you on today because we are, it just feels like that critical time point. In fact, I want to jump back to that September 6th date though. I, I, don't, I don't want to lose track of that before we move on. I remember last year you kept telling everybody, so September 6th is, is Rosh Hashanah and that's, that's the start of the new year. It's, we see it on that chart there. I remember you said last year, watch that date. I think it was sep September 18th last year. You said something, something big is looking like it's going to happen. This, would, this is a key biblical date. And sure enough, that was when Ginsburg died last year. And of course, everyone knows how important that was. So uh, September 6th is two days away. It's Monday. It's actually Labor Day. And it, it, I know we've, you've already said a few things about it, Bo, but are, are you expecting something big on that date? Yeah, see, that's the thing. I don't know what could happen or should happen on that date. All I care about, to be honest with you, is that it's the start of the Jubilee year. Okay, that's what matters to me. Uh, that, you know, that literally is a starting point for these amazing things that are going to happen here into November. So what are the amazing things that will happen into November? I have no idea. Um, you're right. Last year, um, I was using the, the cycle at that time that we were um, overlaying on was the NOAA cycle. And so at 150 days from oil going to zero, our negative 38, 150 days was Rosh Hashanah. And that was September that, that year. Last year, it was September 18th. And so this year it's coming early, but um, September 18th was the exact days, 150 days of the peak of, of, the, of the flood. And, you know, Ginsburg dies. So that was a big event, but it not really just yet. Because, see, the death of Ginsburg is going to ultimately lead to the overturning of Roe versus Wade. But she was a big proponent of it. So that's why her going away, Amy coming in, ultimately is going to lead. And, you know, we, we don't see it today. OK, but in the short order, whether a few more months, a few more years, a couple more years, we're going to see that that event of Ginsburg ends up leading to with Amy coming in, ends up leading to the Supreme Court and you know, the, the whole overturning of Roe versus Wade. Uh, but that, I believe, is going to come in in the new era. So, you know, all that, again, starts within a few days, starts here next week. So, you know, when that event happens, we'll soon see. But, you know, the um, yeah, child sacrifice was. Um, or animal sacrifice was a big thing, you know, in the time of, uh, of Israel, right, years ago. And now, you know, um, evil doesn't do animal sacrifice, it, it's child sacrifice, right? And so, uh, you know, the prophetic word on, you know, uh, this is important, you know, why is God, one of the main reasons God is extremely upset, probably the main reason he's upset is because of, of, of the of, of the murder of the children, right? That, that is probably, that is a number, aside from us turning away from him and the churches and everything else, it's the, it's the, it's, you know, it's the fact that it's the murder of the kids. That's, that's the number one reason, you know, and then the big excuse for the women is, oh, you know, women's, women's rights, okay? This is not my word. You know, the word of God is women's rights are nothing more you know, to, to, for a woman's right to abortion, women's right to abortion are nothing more than excuse for murder, period. Not my words, the word of a prophet from God, okay? So that's the whole deal. This has to be overturned and it will be overturned. You just saw what happened in Texas right now. So the tide is turning. You know, this past week, you know, uh, uh, Texas voted, I think in six weeks, you, you can sue anybody, everybody, anything after six weeks. Yeah. So well, the tide's turning. You, uh, I want to remind people, these slides, we are just hitting a few of these slides. There's over 70 slides in this beautiful presentation you've put together. We're gonna, I'm going to put the link right below this video, wherever you're watching this online. And the link is going to be right below. Go and get both slides. They're provided 100% for free. You can see the amount of time, Bo, I can only imagine the time it takes you to make these things, but they are, they are beautiful and they're this, this whole slide presentation, this is the story from start to finish, and Bo walks you through everything. You can go back to prior interviews where we've covered some of the other slides in a little bit more detail, uh, but if you want to see everything in here, there's even some, Bo puts links in here where you can watch YouTube videos with, or actually, with little no, clips. You're, sorry to interrupt, Nova. Yeah, so we watched this Kim Clement prophecy uh, the other day, 
if you want, if it's possible in your end, you can play the, uh, there's another prophecy I just put up and it was from Sid Roth from nine years ago. That was about the dollar. It's actually interesting. It's on page 14. If you have time, you want to play that one, you can check that out. Approximately a year or so ago, I was uh, sitting on the couch. I thought I had fallen asleep when in reality, I was in a vision, an open vision. I have a large screen television in my living room. I was sitting on the couch watching television. And again, I thought I was dreaming. As I watched, there was a, a weather broadcast that was on television. And there was a news anchor who said, the most amazing thing is going on right now. It's tragic, it's tragic. And they were building this, this news broadcast around this event. And they, uh, he said, normally hurricanes hit on the coastal lines. He said, but there is a hurricane that seems to be spreading down or, or coming across the heartland of America. At that point, he showed a satellite image of America. And I was horrified as I watched a storm covering the north, from the northern border to the southern border from east to west is this massive storm with the eye right over the center of America, a hurricane coming across the center of America. This news reporter in the eye of the storm, as you would see in a hurricane, the wind is blowing violently and they're being tossed to and fro. He said, this is the most amazing thing. I don't understand it. This is not a natural storm. That was his words. He said, this isn't normal. He said, look at what it's raining. And he reached down on the ground and he's picking up and he holds in his hand a fist of $1 bills. He said, this isn't, this isn't natural. It's raining dollar bills. And the anchor and this correspondent went back and forth about the meaning of this dollar bills. He said, I don't understand. It's almost like they're worthless. They're worthless. It was raining dollars. About that time it came back to the anchor. He said, ladies and gentlemen, another tragedy has hit America. He said, right in the heartland of America on the New Madrid Fault, a major earthquake has just hit and immediately pictures of devastation began to pop up all over America, the heartland of America along the New Madrid Fault as earthquakes caused entire cities to, cr to crumble. I saw the incredible uh, changes in the prices of currency. I saw silver, not gold, but I saw silver begin to drastically uh, increase in value, not gold, but silver. Go ahead. I saw with that riots begin to break out. Major cities all over America broke out in riots. People were rioting in the streets and, and on the sign is give us our entitlements. I mean, it looked like civil war uh, within our borders, but it was all over the issue of the, the devaluing of money. And then said immediately I was caught up and I was sitting in a room uh, with world leaders. In this meeting, these world leaders were talking about how to devalue the currency of America by buying oil with another currency. And somehow or another that would drive down the value of the American dollar. You tell the people that when they see the abundance of rain, it shall mark an abundance that shall begin to flood my people in a way that they've not seen as there shall be great transfers of wealth revaluing of currency a change of currency the value of gold and silver shall arise in the earth as abundance shall be released into the hands of my people in a way that you've not seen before but watch very closely I said to you, and I say to you again, this time of justice, this time of righteousness that the heavens are opening with the abundance of rain and the mountains that are blowing their tops and the ground that shall shake and open because things are opening and I'm doing it, says the Lord, for the children. Because they will not have to live in socialism or unrighteousness. This is not the future that I have declared shall be this decade or for the future of your children, says the living God. Perfect. Well, there you go, everybody. That's If you want to watch that video for yourself, click that link. It's on slide 14 of Bo's slide deck here. Uh, absolutely incredible. It's coming. It's coming. So right. And this, get ready. this prophecy was of nine years ago, and it literally describes what just happened and also what's about to happen as well, too. So it's rather incredible how this how all prophecy is just coming together. And we're living in these times right now. 
Um, and so we're, we're, it's just, and the wild part is we are just about to step into this new year here with September coming on, you know, into play here, the September 6th. Um, so all I see is that uh, there, it's just, I sure hope people have listened to our interviews in the past, Noah, they've prepared. So they've listened, they've heard, and they've acted. In other words, they've prepared, they've done things to, to, to prepare themselves and their families because, you know, what's the point of listening to all this and, and just doing nothing? Um, you know, yeah, you'll be informed, but, you know, do you have food and water? Do you have extra two weeks of food and water in your house? I right. know I do. Right. Right. Very important. Do you, um, do you have precious metals? I do. Right. And so it, none of this is telling you what to do. It's just telling you what I've done. I'm sure what you've done, Noah, as well, too. I'm sure you prepared, right? Because you have a family. So, yeah, absolutely. Um, you know, it, it's in. It's you know, prophetically, you know, in the Bible, there's, you know, the, the, the 10 virgins, right? 10, 10, mm -hmm. uh, five mm -hmm. of them consistently have the oil, have their lamps, have full of oil, ready to go at any time, right? There's a perfect, right. and then the other five did nothing. So which one are you? Right, right. Which one are you? Well, uh, Bo, part, I, I, I took us back to those slides, but now I want to get back to Bitcoin. You were telling us um, to continue to prepare and take action. You you run a service on this, and I always like to mention this to people, and, and I I always like to say this, to him, and I just love this the way you say it, Bo. That you know you you everything you do out here is for free. You provide these interviews for free. The slides are for free. But for those people, and everyone loves to hear what Bo's thoughts are on cryptocurrency, and and not even just Bitcoin. Some of these other coins that are on this on this slide here, you got about nine or ten different ones. Everyone always wants to hear what you have to say, where you think we're going. And so, Bo, I don't know if you want to give just a, a brief summary of where you think we are in the cycles and then tell them if they if they want those additional details, the service you provide and, and who that might be for. Right. So what I can say is this, Noah. The presentation I've done is a presentation that I've you know, done with my heart. Much of it is prophetic from what I get and more so what profits get. I put all the pieces together. You know, you can make a book out of this stuff. And guess what? It's free. Okay. And it's a look 10 years into the future. Okay. So all of this is free. I do this because I love God. I love Jesus, and I love the Holy Spirit, and I do all these things to wake the church, wake the people up, and I'm showing you how accurate God is. If I ever screw up, it's me screwing up, me doing <laughs> something wrong, a calculation wrong, but God does not make mistakes, but I've been able to find, and you know, looking through what he shows me, the, the accuracy has been rather crazy on many as you know, know of the dates, it's been kind of mind boggling. A lot of the points that doesn't hit to the mark, it's been incredible. Okay. Um, so that's what I can say. I offer um, a service to people who are looking to profit financially by knowing some of the critical dates for Bitcoin or gold or silver into the future. People are interested in, in, in using, um, you know, knowing the cycles, the daily cycle patterns for Bitcoin and cryptocurrencies, you know, the Bitcoin index, we provide that. But those are for people who are, who are knowledge in cryptocurrencies, understand how to buy and sell, and, and you know, looking to uh, get different coins, and really want to be actively involved. Our Bitcoin index gives you all that, uh, you know, and I've been doing this since Bitcoin was 400 bucks past year and a half, you know, it's been incredible. The past, since July, the, the pattern itself for Bitcoin, as you know, because you get it, the patterns have nailed every single turn, like nine of, nine of nine turns to the day since July. So we've had every single turn so far. So now we are waiting for Bitcoin to make its next vertical leap forward. And we're almost there. Um, that's our chart, actually. That's what the viewers get. I blocked out a, a chunk of it. But as you know, that, that was one of the updates from you know beginning of July. We knew that the bottom comes in on July 20th, and the up cycle was supposed to resume on July 22nd. Well, perfect. It's exactly what happened because life replays itself. Cycles replay themselves. And we knew exactly where to look. And that's exactly what's happened. Bitcoin's got a very powerful year coming. We've only started. If you think the prices are expensive right now, well, you ain't seen anything yet. 
uh, wait till you see what's coming. So this year is going to be awesome. But then awesome is followed by a huge crash. So that's how Bitcoin operates. If you're looking to get the patterns, no, you don't want to get out before the big crash. That's what I'm looking to do as well. Bitcoin's got a lot of movement still forward. Uh, and it's ultimately going to be the, you know, the granddaddy of all the cryptocurrencies. But I, if you look at the chart there in 69, there is many coins that are called alternate coins, which I far prefer because their percentage price movements are far greater than that of Bitcoin. If people are interested in getting involved in cryptocurrencies, know what some of the better cryptocurrencies are, uh, the alternate coins, if, you, if you're looking to, for, uh, to know when to get in or you know one more, when to get out, um, you know we have the patterns for that. There's a code there, WLT, we love Trump. 49, and that will reduce um, your cost down to half for a 14 day trial um, for anybody, you know, interested, but otherwise, you know, just if you don't yeah. want to get involved in cryptocurrencies, go buy gold and silver. <laughs> That's the easy <laughs> way to do it because you're holding it. But all I can say about gold and silver is if you think you're buying, um, if you go, oh, I've got gold, I've, I've got silver, I got SLV, GLD, you got nothing. Because if it's not in your hand, you got nothing. In your own okay. possession. In your own possession, which means physical gold and physical silver. If you have money tied up in silver or gold on the exchanges, because you think that's what you've got, just know that you own a paper representation of it. Nothing more. So that's what well, I can but- tell you about gold and silver. Uh, we are stepping into a new economy, a new financial system. That's not based on paper. So if you've got silver represented as paper, you don't got money that will be money in the new financial system. That's right. Yeah, very, very good point, Bo, for everyone to understand that. Well, Bo, I, you're right. I am a subscriber of your, of your Bitcoin index and I love it. And, you know, you always tell people that, you know, it's, if you just go buy some Bitcoin if you want, but if you want the more detailed info for the traders out there, this Bitcoin index is great. I, you know, I, I'll tell people I'm not a trader, but I, I love getting your, your updates. I don't trade in and out, but I, I love to, to read when you say something's coming. Is it going to go up? Is it going to go down? I, I, I have not sold any of any of my cryptocurrencies. I just, I buy them and I hold them, but I like to watch what Bo's saying, and I like to know that, oh, hey, we might be in for a down month here coming up. Maybe I'll hold off and buy some at the bottom of that, or or maybe it's about to go up and I need to buy a little extra right now. So I'm not a trader, but I still love it. So if, if that's no, and, you- And that's you the wanna... thing is that that's exactly what, that's the best way to be in crypt, crypt, cryptocurrencies many times are just, is, is just to hodl or just to hold it. Um, so you're right, because if if you bought when it was a dollar or two or a hundred dollars or 500 bucks or a- 10,000, you know, holding it even on this crash, you're still massively up. So you're right. It's, it's the best thing to do is just, it's one of the best things to get the stronger coins and hold on to them. And that is a great way to go. There's only one issue um, on that uh, fact is that, you know, Bitcoin typically runs a four year cycle when we're in the fourth year. So what ends up happening is on those uh, off the, when that, when that fourth year completes, um, you know, that's important to have the cycle. When the fourth year completes, you usually get a big drop. Uh, the, I l- ran the, uh, the patterns in the Fibonacci patterns on this. And the problem is, is on this drop that's coming. And because we're heading into the, the third seal of revelation, which would be the financial crash in the monetary system in 2022, um, you know, Bitcoin could, and I'm not saying it will, but I think there's a really high probability on this crash. It could be... S- 70, 80, or 90% down. Mm. Like this is going to be a huge crash um, off this next high. So that there's a big, so it's, you know, people can do what they want, but there is nothing fun about watching Bitcoin drop 80% or some of the currencies, you know, drop 70, 80, or 90% in 2022. But I think that's going to happen, Ashley. So, you know, then it's going to go back up again. Right. But, you know, but that's why, you know, cycles are, are nice to know. And that's you know, why you like to have them too, Noah, because it gives you comfort, you know, before an event like that would happen, you know, that there's a huge probability that could happen. And you can, you know, personally decide if you want to get, take, take some profits and just sit on the sidelines for a while. That's what I do. Exactly. 
Well, and then I, I want to cover this briefly too. Every time we talk about this, I get so many emails from people saying, I want to get in, I want to buy some of these coins, but I don't even know where to start. And so a few months ago, Bo, I, I was, I've been telling you about that. And then, and then you, you and your son actually put together this easy crypto school and it's, it's just been fantastic for people. Instead of me trying to write back the emails and explain to them how you get started and because it is complex, you, you've kind of put this into a modular uh, training system, almost like a university. It's the easy crypto school. And you take people through step by step how to how to get started from step one all the way till the end, and, and how to do it safe, and that's that's a big key. Right, um, the Easy Crypto School. What I've done over the years, I've basically learned my you know through trial and error and lots of trial, lots of errors. Mm -hmm. Errors are costly. When you do errors mean money. Errors. Yes, <laughs> every mistake is an expensive mistake. So I've you know I basically created a flow chart of, of how to avoid mistakes. I gave that to my son, and he's really good with audio, visual, and visuals, and and creating videos. So he created this this whole video system of, and so he basically road mapped everything that I did for him and made videos at each step of the way. So it basically shows you how to not screw up. So, you know, how to start linking your bank account uh, to an exchange, how to move coins around, how to get the coins you want to um, end up getting. And ultimately, once you have the coins you, you want, um, how to store them safely. So there's basically about seven steps within the, within the, within the process to ultimately end up with storing everything safely. Um, so for, you know, if you use that code, uh, we love Trump, WT39, um, yeah, for $39, you can basically have all the steps not screw up and which is kind yeah. of huge. So you that's know, fantastic. So and those are people who literally have, you know, don't know how to, you know, get involved in cryptocurrencies. So for $39, you can learn how to get involved in cryptocurrencies. And the most important thing is, you know, you know is to avoid screwing up. And then lastly, how to store the coins safely, because that really is the, the essence of everything. If you don't have them stored safely, um, they're really not yours. So you need to understand that. So um, it's like, if you store, if they're stored safely, then they're yours, kind of like, you know, having silver and gold, if you have in your possession, they're yours. So that's the essence of under, uh, being involved in cryptocurrencies is to do things correctly. Perfect. Perfect. Well, Bo, I want to thank you for your time today. We, we've, gone through stuff really quick this is this has really been more of an update video because we are in that critical point we've just passed the tipping point you've been telling us about that protractor we just passed the 90 degree point we're we're heading into the season of fall it just seems like we are right on the edge everything's happening so i wanted to have you on today i wanted to have you on before that september 6th date i, I want to give you the last word uh bo go ahead and, and wrap it up for us what what where do you what do you want to leave people with and um, uh, what should people be watching for here in the next few days? I can just finish with we're at a point in time where you know we've talked enough we've, we've said enough things and people are either listening or not listening they either prepare or they've not prepared um, so just know that when calamities come upon uh, the world we're going to see a, a lot of incredible shifts start here um, potentially I'm thinking in September. Um, you know that God is in charge, God the Father, His Son, Jesus, Jesus Christ, and it's the Holy, the Holy Spirit. They're in control. This story has been written for thousands of years already. So God has not forsaken us, has not for abandoned us, but He is a loving God, but He's love and He's judge. And he's a little pissed right now, considering what the world has been doing for all this time, you know. And so we've talked about reasons why he's so upset. But, you know, be because he's upset, he's also a loving God. He created us. He wants to wake us up. So he's going to do everything he can to wake us up before the return of his son. So, you know, in the meantime, I hope people have listened. I hope they've, uh, you know, they've heard what we're saying. I hope they've taken action and prepared. And if you have done those things and just know that, you know, the glory of God is coming. Um, God the Father is in complete control. He knows you know, what he's doing. And, you know, he's not going to forsake us, but also, you know, it's our job to pray to him uh, because, you know, he loves us, but, you know, we have to love him back. And so that's what I, what I can say, you know, we are in biblical times, uh, you know, people are trying to find all these answers, but the answers, you know, are within us when we pray, you know, I, I've done a, I think a very thorough job as best I can done to show people what's coming here into the future. Look into those slides. There's more information, you know, about what's coming in the years ahead. There's a ton of information in there, um, but it, it all starts where, you know, God acts, you know, the, God moves his hand, uh, vengeance, you know, the glory, um, it comes upon the earth. And, you know, this, uh, the, the key here is the rise of his kingdom into the new era. And so November is going to be a huge point 
in our world. I promise you, November is going to be really powerful, but October is going to be, you know, a lead up into that is going to be incredible too. And then September this month, you know, starts it all. So September, you know, into October, just know that the boiling, it, it just pressure keeps building and building and building for what's coming here in, in uh, November. And in November, I, I think, you know, with Goliath falling flat on his face, I don't know what that means, but I'm telling you, it's going to be wild because the Kim Clement prophecy states that in, in Christmas or win, in winter season, which would be, uh, you know, start thinking the 21st or 22nd of December, it says, I, meaning God, will make you, his church, happy. So what the heck just happened in November? <laughs> That's right, hypnotic happy? November. Because we're not happy right now for, for what's going on in the world, right? So I will make you happy. So yes. if we're happy, you have to understand the other side's destroyed, freaking yeah. out, okay? Fallen. So they fall and fall. I tell you, these things have been prophesied. And um, God's word will not go void. I repeat, God's word will not go void. He's a loving father, but he's love and he's judge. Thank you, Noah. Hey. And that is why we love having Bo on, that you would leave us with that kind of a summary, Bo. Fantastic. Thank you so much. We'll have you on again soon when we're even further into the protractor. And we're going to be watching for these things to come to pass. So, Bo, thank you for your time. Thank you for coming on the Daily Truths Report. And we'll see you next time.